ladies and gentlemen welcome to the channel today we're going to have a look at riverside fm we're also going to have a look at Streamyard. we're going to check out which one is the better option for you your streaming and your podcasts so without further ado let's dive in as you can see here i am on riverside so i'm using a remote camera and i'm using a third party app to connect that camera you can go ahead and change all your settings right over here on this home page before you even jump into your studio now once you've jumped into your studio this is what it may look like so as you can see on the left hand side we can see our feed we can also share our screen and we can control everything from the bottom section over here including on the right hand side viewing the people within your recording you can also have a chat behind the scenes if you would like to answer questions in the comment section and then you can have some text and some media overlays now there is a, another way of going about after you have actually saved your recording you can jump into the editor and you can completely edit this into a different aspect ratio you can make cuts you can make overlays and it's got a pretty good editor going you can also now export and you can export in high quality so it goes all the way up to 4k and i think it's pretty decent Let's jump into StreamYard. Now, StreamYard is pretty simple. Their layout is awesome. You can do a live stream. You can also record. And then you can do an on-air webinar, which is a fantastic feature. You can see over here that I have a stream that I have created. And I can go ahead and enter the studio. And this is maybe what it would look like. Now, I can't feed my camera here as well as in Riverside so this is blank but the quality output is pretty much the same and you have the opportunity again to use overlays over here and once you're done and you've created your recording you'll also have the editor now having a look at these two platforms StreamYard does offer a couple more features however they do have this watermark which I'm not entirely impressed with to be completely honest Having a look at StreamYard and Riverside, Riverside really speaks to me because they have a nice, easy user interface and it seems like for a beginner, it's a fantastic platform. Don't get me wrong, StreamYard is also awesome with all its extra features. You can actually use StreamYard and um, use it with other apps like OBS. You can connect them and you can stream directly live to social media platforms such as YouTube or TikTok. So it is pretty awesome. However, for my specific needs, Riverside is awesome. And in this clash, I'm going to have to go ahead and say Riverside is the winner. Now, let us know what you think about these platforms in the comment section below. We will see you in another awesome video. Peace.